nobody can excel in life constantly correctly to the end of their life without operating on the what of the hopeful nervous service to god is the advantage for the disadvantage Seated. What was impossible, Baba made possible. Jesus, yeah. What was impossible, Baba, you made possible. Jesus, that is, you are welcome. Happy New Month, Russell. Will you please help me greet your neighbor and say Happy New Month? Praise the Lord. I hope you are ready. I hope you are ready this month. I hope you are ready this month. I hope you are ready this month. For God of sufficiency. I hope you are ready this month. Oh Lord, to encounter God of sufficiency. I hope you are ready this month. To engage God of sufficiency. I hope you are ready this month. To work with God of sufficiency. Sufficient for your strength. Sufficient for your ability. Sufficient for your yesterday. Sufficient for your now. And sufficient for your future. For, sufficient for all you ever need. Sufficient for what you ever ask for. For you for certain what more than what you can ever think of. Sufficient of oh Lord to open the doors. So be sufficient enough to oh Lord to break open the gates. Sufficient to pour down blessings from the windows from above. I hope you are ready this month, in this month of God's sufficiency, because God will prove Himself in our lives that He is a God that is more than enough. He will tell you, He will prove to you that He is God that is more than enough. This is a month of God's sufficiency. Say, God's sufficiency. I am here today. Because of God's sufficiency. I am here today. I am alive today. Because of God's sufficiency. I am alive today. I made it this far. Because of God's sufficiency. Oh, I am living today. Because of God's sufficiency. You saw the book of first, I mean Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians chapter 3. Uh, the first five, sir. Can we read it together? Second Corinthians chapter 3 from first five. My title, by the way, is God's sufficiency. God's sufficiency. Uh, let's read it together. I want to go, church. Not that we are sufficient of ourselves. Can you read it together? I want to go again. Not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think that our, <laughs> of ourselves. For ourselves, but our sufficiency is from God. Say it ready together. Not that we are sufficient of ourselves uh, to think of anything of, of being from ourselves, but our sufficiency is of God. So when you see me brag about, praise God, when you see me dancing, when you see me making a bold move, a bold face in God. I am not doing it in myself. I am doing it in God. I am doing it in God. I am doing it in God. Who has my now and holds my future? Amen. I am doing it in Him. Amen. I'm going to give you another Bible verse. We are going to read it together. You are going to see this working together. All of 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. 
2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. Can we read it together? And let this go. And he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you. My strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly, I will rather boast in my infirmity that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Say, His grace is sufficient for me. His grace is sufficient for me. God's grace is sufficient for me. Oh, God's grace is more than enough for me. Alabo Shetalaba. Second Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. The Bible says, from the matter of two or three, a matter is established. Second Corinthians chapter 9, verse 3. Let's read it together. I mean, verse 8. Only Second Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. Second Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. Now let's read it together, church. We want to go again. And God is able to make all grace. Abounds towards you, and that having sufficiency in all things may have abundance for every good works. Read it together again. And God is able to make all grace abound towards me, that I always have sufficiency in all things, that I may abound. Hey, how many of you is God talking about here? That God is telling you, Lord, that God will make all grace advance towards you. He will make all grace advance towards you. That you will always have all sufficiency. All sufficiency. All sufficiency. Hey, all sufficiency. In all things. All sufficiency. In all things. No deficiency. In anything, all sufficiency in all things, no deficiency in anything, God's sufficiency in all things, no deficiency in anything in my life. Will you decree that to yourself? All sufficiency in all things, no deficiency in anything in my life. All sufficiency in God. No deficiency in my life, in my home, in my families, in my health, all around me. No deficiency. Say no deficiency. God is my sufficiency. No deficiency. Ah, God is my sufficiency. No deficiency. Jesus Christ is the Lord. No deficiency. Jesus Christ is the Lord. Amen. Hey. Why are you ready for me today? Oh, take it. No deficiency. Hey. Jesus Christ. Is my Lord no deficiency? Jesus Christ is the Lord. That's me. Get ready, get ready. What does that mean when you read that? I read that Bible verse in different versions. Look, to be insufficient means incompetent in ourselves. A version says, What? Well, that we are incompetent in ourselves. God is our competency. Hey, say that to your friend. We are what? Incompetent in ourselves. God is my competency. Another fashion said this means we are unqualified to do anything on our own. Our qualifications comes from God. Colors, I like that. We are what? We are unqualified. To do anything on our own. But eventually you see me. Or you see something that God has done for the people of God. And you say, oh, you must be a perfect person. Tell them, no, I am what? 
I know myself. I know I am not qualified for this. But God is my qualificators. Amen. It's my qualifications. This means we are in court. Another thought point said, we are inadequate in ourselves to consider anything as having come from ourselves. But our adequacy is from God. Our what? Our what? Our adequacy is from God. Our word, he said, we are inadequate in ourselves. If you are to judge me by myself, I am inadequate. Oh Lord, but with God, all things are possible. It also means what? Oh, thank you, Father. Daddy, thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. You know, when God steps over him into a matter, that matter is settled. Uh, when you begin to do business with God, doing business with men, we mean as if you have been losing all the while. It means we are incapable of doing this work. It's another fashion share. The capacity we have comes from him. Thank you, sir. The capacity we have comes from what? Comes from him. Can we bless our pastor? Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. Hallelujah. We are inadequate in ourselves to consider anything that this is this as what has come from me. But he said, our adequacy is from God. It means we are incapable of doing this thing. Like a storm of the story we are going to hear today. The family in the house who lost a job. At a very close hand when they are supposed to close on a house. In the house of you. And, not, and it seemed as if all hope was gone. Every attempt to get it done, nothing was happening. Nothing was happening. But at the nick of time. 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 The helpers of destiny just show up. And when he show forth, you know what? He always come with what? In his bigness. God doesn't come small. He comes big. When God comes, he comes what? He comes big. Now, if you look at that verbal verse, he <laughs> said, God is able, I did some point there, number one. God is able to do more than you can ask or think. When you are dealing with God who is sufficient and you know you are deficient, praise God. <laughs> you have to know that God is what? He is able, say God is able to do more than what I can ask or think. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 says, now to him, say read it, now to him, Ephesians 2 20. He said what? Now to him who is able to do immeasurably, exceedingly, more than all we can ask or imagine. More than what you can think. More than what you can ask. More than what you can imagine. More than what nobody has ever thought of. God is able. He is able. More than able. He said, is able to do much more. Than what, than what you can think or ask according to the power that's at work in us. Do you know the power that's at work in us? Is the power that created the whole world. The power that's at work in us is the power that rose what? That raised Lazarus back from the dead. The, that's the, word, the power that's at work in us is the power that caused all the firmament to be. Power that's at work in us is the one that holds galaxies in their places. Power that is at work in us is the one that caused the sun and the moon to be in their places. Power that is at work in us is the one that creates all things. Power that is at work in us is the one that lasts a catalabo. That makes sure when baby comes, they come uniquely and never what? Never a photocopy of anybody. The power that is at work in us is so original that anytime God wants to make new things, it doesn't go back to a photocopy machine. 
He produces what? Everything God does, He does it new. You are a new person. You are different from me. By the grace of God, I look at our ch three children. They come out from the same womb, the same loins, but three of them are different. Praise God. That is the father. That somebody that whenever God creates, he doesn't create a photocopy. You are never a photocopy of your father. Not that you are a photocopy of anybody that has ever existed. You are just uniquely your own. He's able to do new things every day. So he's able to do more than you can think or ask. And this will help you to readjust your focus on him. Allah sekata. So why? You see, I remember a story when you see, when you see people, sometimes you want to judge the final product. You don't know the word, what, the, what the process has been before you see the product. I, I look at my life, I was just imagining at the cause of this, I was just praying over the message. And God just reminded me of one time ago, long time ago, and when, when we, people finished high school, like, and we went for one of our friends who were doing one party like that, and I came back, and uh, they were giving us Sprite in Nigeria. It's one of the drinks. If you don't know it, you don't need to know. So in that place, they put some drink, hot drinks, praise God. And so they gave, and I, was, I wanted to be, the, the spread pressure around me, you know, I just want to be one of those guys. And they gave me this thing to drink. And I drank. And all of a sudden, I didn't even know how I got home, where the drug goes, all this stuff. And my mom looked at me very well. She looked and she spoke some certain word into me. And that changed my life. He said, what do you want to play into the hands of the enemies? You don't have a father. And devil is already waiting for you to fail. And you are making it possible so that you can be the easy target. Ah! Why do you want to make, why do you want to be vulnerable? Why do you make it easy for enemy to attack you? He just painted the picture and said, if this is what, what you want to make it for, let devil just have you so that you will just get drunk one day and the enemy will just take the opportunity whether the, the car will knock you down or a gun somebody will just, and when they look at you, they say you are drunk. They say, no problem. It's one of the results that comes out of it. And that's changed my life and I never tasted that thing again. So don't, so when you see people escaping to or some things, it's not that we have not tried to do it. But God's mercy just came at the right time and said, no, this is not your part. Maybe that's a warning for somebody. God is able to make all grace advance towards you. Number two. It's not that God is able to do more than what you can think. He also able to, uh, to make all grace, say all grace, advance towards you. Second Corinthians chapter 8, that first Samuel, he said, God is able to make all grace. God is God of all grace. Say, God, this Jesus is God of all grace. That is nothing you need when you trust him that he cannot do for you. But I'm telling you, God is God of all grace. Even academically, God is God of all grace. My wife came here. She didn't study science. She said, oh, this. She said oh, all my life I've done art. And she said, oh, Lord, we have the desire. She wants to go and study nursing. Nursing? How will she do it? We trusted in this God of all grace. Today, she has a testimony. Praise the Lord. Testimony upon testimony. This is what God can do. This God is God of all grace. Young people, are you hearing me? Oh Lord, you are pursuing it. There is nothing God cannot do for you. Number one, you have to realize that what I'm in the I mean what? I'm insufficient. I'm incapable. Oh Lord, I don't have the word, the abilities, but God does. Say God does. So when they look at me and say, You don't have this qualification, say God does. Tell them, God what? And it's my father. Ah, Lashe. It's only God that you can use your resume everywhere. It's only Jesus that you can use his resume everywhere. If you use that of your earthly father, you are always a perjury. You can use Jesus' word, resume, everywhere, in the dark, in the light, everywhere. You can use Jesus' word, resume. Oh Lord. He conquered the dead, therefore death, where you say, want to say, no, 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 no. I am seated with him. He has paid the price for me. Lord, you can use Jesus' resume everywhere. 
because it is sufficient for all things. He's able to make all grace abound towards you. My third thing I want to say, God is able to always make you have all sufficiency. Not one, all sufficiency in all things, at all time, at any moment. You see, you, you are the one that thinks you don't have. It's because you have not dived in into him that has all sufficiency. If you begin to walk with him who has sufficiency in all things, don't forget the what the last one. Saw. In how many things? In how many things? In how many things? God has got the sufficient in all things. So when you are insufficient, it's not because God has no, you don't have it. It's because you don't know how to depend on him who has it. All you need to do is say, Daddy, I'm here. I can use the resume of Jesus even if I don't qualify for it. Therefore, you get what you don't even desire. Because what? God is the God of what? Sufficiency in all things. Now, in us, when you look at that same Bible phrase, it also says, God is able to make you have abundance for every good works. Abundance for every good works. That if we ever desire to do anything for God, God is able to make that grace available for you. If you ever, if it is your desire, God will make that grace what advance towards you. So, but don't forget, God is sufficient. I'm indeficient. God is capable. I'm incapable. God is what? God is adequate. I'm inadequate. I have to know where I belong. And as long as I trust Him that is sufficient, I will always have sufficiency. I, I, God is God of all grace. God is what? God of all grace. First Corinthians chapter 15. He said, I am the least of the apostles. First, first 9 and 10. He said, I, that is Paul apostle speaking now. He said, I am the least. He said, I, he said, I am the least. I am not even worthy to be called an apostle. He said, I, I was both. I, I persecuted the church. I, I, they, there's no way they should include me in their, in their categories. Am, am I speaking to somebody? You are the least. You don't have the qualifications. You are not from the right place. You are not from the right time. <laughs> you are not in, at the right time. But so I said, I came late. I didn't have the right, I mean, right qualifications. But yet, but yet, but yet, but yet, I am what I am by the grace of God. He said that I, I am what I am. And his, his grace has been bestowed upon me. He said, and now I was able to labor more. I labor more abundantly than them all. And about, he said, but for his grace was with me. Say his grace is with me. His grace is with me. There's a story about a prisoner that was shared by Evangelist Rambonke. The name of the guy was Richard. And it happened in Kenya. He went there to go ministers. And as he was ministering, and one of those days, somebody called to him and said, Bonke, I need to show you something. I believe you have never seen something like this. He said, what? He said, I want to show you some prisoners. So he went to go and see the prisoners. And when he saw them, he saw the big, big chains that they used to tie their neck, tie their what? Tie their neck because they are ready to be executed. And all of a sudden, and one of them in the midst of that, when they are, so when they want to kill them, the, ex, the executor, the one that will hang them, we throw, a, we throw a rope. As many that fall inside that rope, they are the one that will die that day. Do you hear what that? They will do the other like this. All of them are ready. To, they are supposed to die. So they will do like this. So the one he was able to cut, those are the ones that will die that day. So as they are going there, one of them was singing. This is that day that the Lord does me. That the Lord does me. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And it happened to be the time that Bonke entered into the place. And the Lord spoke to him to Bonke and said, Listen, that one that is that is singing, tell him he will be my voice all over the world. Uh -uh. Bonke said, They are already arranging this guy to die. 
And you say, I should tell him. How will I tell him? He said, tell the what? So he, he managed, he talked to what? The, he spoke with the, the person that was carrying them. And the man said, oh, interesting. I speak with the guy. So he spoke with the guy. The guy said, you don't know? Pastor or reverend, whatever you are called. He said, Bonke. He said, three times I have escaped death. He said, they will throw this rope and I will fall inside them. And the man that is hanging them, he will do the work, he will do the work. When he get to his town, the guy will rather say, I am tired. So he will push him among the crowd again. After a time again, he will be in the what? In the rope. They will, brought, they will brought, they bring him forward. <laughs> and what? When it was almost his time, the man will say that sometimes will be purging. He will say, I, let it just, I don't want to have this three of you. I just go. He said, three times I have been so close. But one way or the other, the executor will just have problem. One thing will just happen to him and he will let me go. And the guy started crying. And Bonky said, what will I do now? This man is sentenced to die. And the Holy Spirit spoke to him and said, what? Speak to the world. Speak to the governor. And he went and said, okay. He went to go and speak to the governor. The governor was not around, but he met the wife. And the wife said, oh, if you are going to release that, that Richard, the only thing I can do for you is what? You are going to take some of our children, take them abroad to go and train them. The man said, I am an evangelist. I don't have money. You know, people always think pastor has money, right? Amen. <laughs> so we have money. We are rich in Jesus' name. So now he, he, said, he, said, oh, he said, I cannot do this. But to cut the long story short, after a while, God by his mercy just released Richard. And when the Richard was released, with an automaton that what? They give him opportunity to redeem his life and what to be what to go and serve God. What did they do? The man decided to train Richard. He trained him for four years in, in, what? in mission school. And the man was, he was ministering, went back around Kenya. And as he was ministering, all of a sudden, somebody just walked in the middle of the crowd, dressed with his, what, with his big Bible. And he walked up to Bonke. And when Bonke saw him, he knew that truly, truly, this is what? This is Richard. But a different Richard now. But instead of Richard, to embrace Bonke, Richard fell to his knees. And he was using his head to just say, Thank you. I could have been gone. Thank you. I could have been forgotten. Thank you. And instead of, instead of, the man wanted to embrace him. You know what God is doing in our lives? Jesus may want to embrace you. But you say, Jesus, I'm not qualified to even embrace you. Just allow my head to touch you. Let me just touch your feet. That was what John the Apostle, John the Beloved, I mean, John the, the Baptist, when he said, I'm not even qualified to untie the lace of his shoes. This man is too much. He's too much for me. Oh Lord, when you know this sufficiency, God, and you count all he has done for you, you will know that the grace of God has brought you this far. And you will respond back by just what? By worshiping him. Yes, Bube. You brought me. Yes, Bube. I'm so glad you found me. Yeah. I can see. Please stand to your feet. I can tell. And I know. Oh, hey. It's your grace. On oh, my my I will sing your praise.
Father, how can I respond to God's sufficiency? After you have known you are what? You are incompetent. After you have realized that what? You are insufficient. You are going to go to him and you say, according to Philippians chapter 4 verse 13, that I can do all things. 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 Stand to your feet. I can do all things. The true Christ that strengthens me. I can do all things. Ah, by the grace of God, I can do all things. I can go through life. I can do all things. I can surmount the mountains. The true Christ that strengthens me. I can move mountains. Up through Christ that strengthens me. I can do all things. I can succeed. I can make it. I can fulfill destinies. I can be all God has destined me to be. Because of the grace of God. I can do all things. I tell you, you can make it. You can succeed. You can break up with the doors. You can succeed where others fail. You can keep standing where others fall. You can keep rising up when they are coming down. I can I can see. I can tell. And I know. It's your grace. How many of us are like reach out this morning? That you have come with a heart of gratitude. That you know that God, Lord, you are so close to death, but the Lord raised you. You are so close to death, but he rescued you. Many times you have been the web of the enemies, but the Lord saved you. Many times you have been the web of Satan and God that all about the Lord rescued you. Many times it has been your tongue, but the Lord turned it away from you. As a ghetto, how many of us are in the house today who has come with a heart of gratitude? How many of us are ready to go with God to the next level? How many of us have come with the heart of gratitude and say, I have come, your grace has brought me this far. That I was so close to being forgotten, but the mercy raised me. He reached out to me. I can do. I come back to say thank you. I come back to say thank you. I am grateful. I am not ungrateful. I, for myself, I am incompetent, but the Lord has brought me. His mercy has brought me. His grace has brought me. Oh, and the grace of God must not be taken for granted. Please don't take his grace for granted. The grace of God does not mean you continue in sin. That the grace may abound. If you have not given your life to Jesus, the grace of God is extended towards you this morning. Please accept him. God is more than enough. He's able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above what we ever ask or think. He's able to see you through. He's able to open the door. He's able. He's able. He's able. Grace find me. Grace save me. Grace sustain me. Grace redeem me. Grace, grace bring me down. It has been the grace of God. It's the grace of God. I survive where others die. It's the grace of God. We have someone. Oh. Who grace of God rescue at the need of time. Many people die by the side. And they ask them for the grace of God. Say for the grace of God. Thank you, Father. God of all grace. I trust you for sufficiency. For the next level and the next phase of my life. Thank you, Father. I can do all things. I can do all things. You have to believe in yourself. Believe the God that is with you. Believe that with God all things are possible. Believe that God will see you through. Sir, Ma, God will fight your battle. Believe it. Believe it. That and what? I can do all things. 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 Through Christ that strengthens me. I can do through Christ that strengthens me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Give him praise this morning. Lord, we give you praise. If you don't know how to praise God after now, 
thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See how far God has helped us. It's time for baby dedications. Praise the Lord. It's time for what? Baby dedications. All sufficiency in all things. Hey, say, Bube. Hey, say, Bube. Almighty God. Sufficient in all things. Until they give all the song, can we sing? Is it? 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 Is it?